Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, reporting to you from Stockton, where I met Alec Gary uh, at the Golden State Dairy Management Conference held by the UC Cooperative Extension. He's from UC Riverside, an entomologist who uh, brought up a, a new pest issue. It's the spinos ear tick, which ticks don't typically aren't typically a problem on dairies. It, you know, it's more of a rangeland issue, but this is something that's that's new and it is a problem on some dairies. And here's Alec to talk about that and, and what dairy producers should look for to make sure they, they don't have it. And if they do, a couple options they may have to, to deal with it. Yeah, and so I think the reason to bring this up really is that it, it is a new issue, a uh, relatively new issue anyway, on uh, dairies, intensive dairies in California. And that's in particular, it's in the flush lane uh, sorts of systems with the free stalls. So you don't see this out on dry lot systems. Uh, you may potentially see it out in pasture. The, the, the tick is actually associated with pasture systems in, in other states. Uh, but it was surprising to me a few years ago to actually see this in free stalls. And, and so it's worth mentioning it here, I think, to your audience that, that this tick is, is something that might be on the horizon for them as well. And uh, this tick is a very unusual tick. It has a very unusual lifestyle. It essentially will climb onto a single host, crawl into the ear of that host, and then remain in the ear of that host, that cattle host, uh, throughout its life cycle, cycle until it's done uh, with all of its developmental changes, at which point it drops out of the ear uh, and lays a batch of eggs to start the cycle over again. So unlike most, most ticks which, uh, which feed on an animal, drop off, have to feed on another animal and drop off, this one stays on that animal, which makes it um, conducive to this freestall system. So the young tick gets on animals in, that are bedding down in the freestall, stays on that animal throughout its life, throughout the tick's life, uh, until it's an adult, drops off the animal back into the freestall bedding area, lays the eggs, starting the whole cycle over again. Uh, the tick does have some impacts on, on cattle, um, one of the things that you may notice first if you're a cattleman and you have the, these uh, ticks in the ears of your cattle is you may notice that the cattle begin to shake their heads a lot more than they might normally and it's, it's a very characteristic head shaking behavior. Uh, and then if you look in the ears you can actually see the ticks. So if you look in the ears you'll, down in the ear canal you'll see ticks often um, you know, numbering in, the, in a dozen or more ticks down in the ear. Uh, if you see this, this is something you should probably let your veterinarian know, hey, I've got this issue, what do I do about it? Uh, I think we're still trying to figure out right now what the strategies are to control it, uh, but I think if you, at least if you get to your veterinarian and say, I have this issue, we can begin the process of trying to treat for that. Great. Well, thank you, Alec. Read more about uh, pest and disease management for dairy cattle in California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.